be a very nice, very nice upmarket area. So we're heading to Century City now. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Thank you, Joseph. <laughs> okay. By the way, how long you been doing Uber? Uh, about a year. Yeah, you like it okay? Not much. Oh, not much? Why? Uh, I need to find a driver so I can work. Oh, what do you mean? Uh, you own I the car? I'm here. Yeah, I own the car. Oh, okay. So is it making money? No. I see what you mean. You, you want the car to operate more hours? No, he oh, wants yeah. an operator for it. Oh, I see. You want to, you want someone else to operate the car for yeah. you? Oh, I see. He owns the car. Right, right. I see. Because that's part of... So, um, Joseph, it doesn't make money? Not much. Well, maybe because you're not driving that much. <laughs> Is that what you mean, Joseph? You want the car to operate like 24 hours like that? If or, he has a yeah. driver to yeah, do the driving. The driver. Yeah. Right, right. No, the problem okay. there is if you don't, your car's not running, you're not earning. No, of course, yeah, yeah, correct. Right? Yeah, yeah you're not correct. earning, so your 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 capital is locked up. Right. Because I thought it might be nice, at least competition for the traditional taxi drivers. Oh no, no, it's good. I love Uber. Because uh, you know they're, they're infamous it's for much cheating people. Better you know? than taxi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, that's for why. Sure I, much better. That's why I'm I'm okay about selling my car because I don't want to maintain a car. Really? I just want to call. Yeah, especially yeah. with Manila traffic. And, yeah, you know, I was like, yeah. I guess, you know, if I took my car, I have to park. Right. Right? It's a hassle. And it's, there's also limited hours you can use the car during the... Yeah, like today, it's 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 Monday. I can't use my car today. Right. What, so what's the rule? After 5 p.m. or after no, 7? Or... You can't use it from 7 to 7, right? Joseph? Yeah, yeah 7 to 7. 7. Well, wow. okay. I think it's 7 to 7. We call it a color coding. Right. Yeah. Even number if it's coding. Okay. number coding. Yeah. Even if it's not in Monday, color. it's one and two. The last digits one and two. You can use your card. Okay. And Tuesday, three and four. Oh, Monday I see. Six and Wednesday. So you have to pay per like different days. You can use the car, sort of thing. Yeah. Right. So what about weekends? Same yeah, thing. You can use it. Okay. Weekends you can use it, and that's to help deal with the Manila traffic and congestion. Right. Uh, even though it's not a very good solution, it's the. It's just it's a the way rules. to limit the number of cars on oh, the road. Oh, there's an armored car. It's a big armored car. Let's rob the armored car. We'll hijack the armored car. No, <laughs> no joke, joke line. There's a movie called Metro Manila. Have you seen it? No. Okay, it's about armored cars. Yeah, yeah, so. It's a very good Pinoy movie, actually. Like, very well made. So. Yeah, well, no, it's set here, but it was a foreigner who made it. Oh, really? Or it's a foreign film. It's not. And here's the midget boxing ring ringside. So. Yeah. Alright, that was Joseph. He was really cool. All right. Well, first time Uber experience. Sorry, we are now at Century City. <laughs> so I'm, dri I'm driving him crazy here, vlogging. Yeah. All right, we're now at Century City. So this is next to Baga Manila, the food market I always go to. So it's a newish mall. This is interesting. It's called a hole in the wall uh, food gathering. It's basically a food court, but this is right at the top. Get your rules. Watch your things, take care of the kids, all that sort of stuff. That's cool. I like it. Okay. Sorry, John, I'm driving him crazy vlogging, but just to give you guys a quick shot. And you get the idea, you got lots of different eateries. Posporo. Posporo is a Filipino Mexican. So I got myself a burrito, but what got me was it's the chicken in a sal flavor, right? So usually that means barbecue chicken. And he's maganda making it. So. <laughs> no, it's cool. So it's all fresh. So I thought I'd just give it a try. Um, it was the extra hundred pesos for the salad, the salsa salad. I wanted to keep it fresh. You know, first time, give it a, give it a try. Very clean, very professional. And this is actually cucumber lemonade or? Lemonade. Yeah. Oh, okay. Beautiful, look at that. I might as well try it. Mmm, very refreshing. A bit sweet, but. And here's the damage, guys, for those who want to know. So that was 500 pesos all up. It's an upmarket area. But yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, oh, no, there's, no, no, sorry. sorry, there's the buzzer just to show people, yeah, when your order's ready. Mine is obviously ready. Let John out. Sorry, guys. Okay, just to recap, that's what 500 pesos gets you. 500 peso burrito. Beautiful. And and the cucumber 
eliminate it. Okay, let's dig in. My friend is having his fried chicken. That was from, what was it called, Bad Bird? And you're saying it's pretty good? Spicy? It's very good, yeah. No, I won't hit his camera shy, but he's French Pinoy, so we're having a lovely <laughs> conversation about étrange food. <laughs> that was actually really good for a burrito, very filling. So certainly worth it. Very high quality. Usually, um, you know, it's all greasy. These didn't taste greasy either. I think, for whatever reason, so your, your the good. Class, how many, how, how the food court is lit up. Oh, it was dead before. Now there's all these people. Three hours. How do you get Oh, Okay, you're flying together. Back at the power plant more. For those that don't know, it's called the power plant because it used to actually be an energy power plant and then it was converted into a more. Is it still an energy power plant or no? No. Alright, cruising around. Akati. But it's nice they made something really great out of it. Made a great yeah, it's a they tore it down. They built a new By the way, quick story. John has a um, Japanese guy at the Clipper Hotel and he didn't speak much English. So he was speaking to me in Japanese thinking I was Japanese, right? Like, he's a nice guy, but I was like, oh, nah, I don't speak Japanese. So anyway, um, John was very nice and called Nippon, Nippon Airways? Or? Express. He, he called Nippon Express to find someone to interpret who spoke Japanese and uh, help this guy out. So it happens, you know? The poor guy, you know, he doesn't speak much English, but he's in Philippines and a lot of people do speak English here, which is great. Definitely a positive, you know, so English speaking country. And if someone doesn't, you can often ask around and get some help. But uh, yeah, very kind of you to help him out, man. It's my job. Yeah, all in a day's work. Okay, just having a snack with John. So we got, so this is just mango, yeah. uh, sticky rice with some cream cheese or some no, type some of cheese. Some type of cheese, Canadian cheese, some famous yeah. one. And this is called bagong, bagong, which yeah. is like a shrimp paste. Yeah. And you have it with Fermented the mango. Shrimp. Fermented shrimp, yeah. Just with yeah, it's that. not uncommon in Asia. I've had it before, but yeah, it smells, it smells nice. And I did a little bit of artwork. So we'll dig in. <laughs>